What's up, everybody? This is uh, Big D, and today we are going to talk about Cajun rotisserie turkey. It's a beast. It's a beast. Uh, a little struggle all the way through with fire management. Uh, so stay tuned. See how the experiment turned out. All right. It's the intro. D's cute, it's the intro. It's time to eat, it's the intro. D's cute, it's the intro. What time is it? It's time to eat! Daddy, maybe you should stick to cooking. Alright, let's go eat. What's up, y'all? Big D, D's cute backyard barbecue. Today, we are going to cook a bird, a turkey. Uh, I'm re feeling really good out here, man. Even though it's cold, man. Look at that nasty snow out here. Hate the snow. I hate to hate to hate the cold, but it's a good day, man. Sunshine and all that good stuff. I'm feeling a little nostalgic out here. I came out here. I was going to smoke this bird. My wife was like, you ain't going to fry it? I said, well, we don't have enough oil today. Uh, and I, you know, I want to get a trial run on this flavor that I'm working on. So, uh, you know, I'm going to throw it in the Kamado. And I was like, but you know what? I have, if I, when I cook the other birds around Thanksgiving for everybody else, it's going to be on Big Mama. And I haven't used her in a while. I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. She's like, so what you going to do? I said, well, you know, I could ro do a rotisserie. You know, I don't think there's too many instructionals or, you know, just kind of overviews on rotisserie turkey out there. I, I haven't seen one. Or I could throw it in this Kamado and uh, break out one of my temp probes and just kind of, you know, get a trial run with the temp probes. And she's like, well, go ahead and do the rotisserie because... You know, you know, I haven't really seen that before, and we've had your smoked turkey before, and if you're not going to fry it up today, you might as well go ahead and, you know, do something different. So I said, you know what, you're right. That's why you my better half. So, mason jar of water, holding the bird down. She actually made the brine for me. I had to go to work, and uh, she's uh, burning a little vacay at the end of the year. So she threw the bird in there for me yesterday. It's been brining for 24 hours officially now. Uh, we try to keep it somewhat simple, y'all. Cheap birds. Right now, it's time of year where you can find them. I got a 59 cent a pound uh, from a little grocery store around here. I bought two flavor packets. I uh, wanted to say they're Master Grill. I'll ask my wife when I go in because I forgot to ask her to hold on to one of the packets so I could show it to y'all. So my apologies. A little hack job with the uh, with the butcher's twine. Uh, just to keep it from shifting and stuff while it's on the spit. And uh, here's the veggies that I'm going to stuff it with uh, to help with flavor and mostly for balance. So we have some potatoes up under there, some green and red peppers, and uh, big hunks of onion. So I'm going to stuff that bird. I'm going to get it over here on the fire. And I'm going to season the back and spritz it down as it starts to rotate. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Give me a sec. This is not a clean fire, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on down in there. I know that the wood itself is, uh, I know that the wood is seasoned. I've been using it all year and it's been covered, so I have no idea what's going on with this uh, gray smoke. I'm gonna have to figure it out though. But uh, long story short, I'm gonna hit it with one more spice. Well, one more seasoning mix, my favorite. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, smoke got my eyes. And then I'm going to hit it off with some butter. Just put the butter on there to protect the skin. Uh, this thing is a little off center. Like, uh, you can tell that the, I didn't want to jab the meat too bad, but, uh, you know, it's not totally balanced. But it's okay. It'll get the job done. It will do everything that we need it to do. Come behind it. And voila. That should be should be about what I what the doctor ordered. Alright y'all. Got to tend to the food before I tend to the video. 
So I'll check back in uh, maybe about an hour or so, let y'all see this thing. But uh, I got to tend to this right here. Y'all can see that. Something, something's not breathing right down there. This one's going just fine. But uh, something's going on with that. So I'm going to figure that out, and uh, we'll be back with a check-in a little later. All right, y'all. Fire management has been a beast today. I am a uh, take for me. You know, believe me or not, you know, but I prefer that you do. But if you're going to make a turkey, while interesting, this is probably one of the most difficult ways of doing it. <laughs> I've been out here like every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it's You're getting the grill. I mean, you're getting the rotisserie, you're spending the juices and everything. But in the same time, you don't really get the full benefits of the grill because it's not sitting right there on top of the heat. And you're not getting the full benefit of a smoker because a lot of the heat's escaping. So, really, it's just pretty and meant for show. So, uh, respect somebody who makes your uh, rotisserie turkey because they put a lot of effort into it. But, as you can see, it's starting to get a little color. My twine is coming off. I'm going to close the lid down a little bit to try to get this fire under control. I just threw a lot of splits in here because I'm tired of uh, coming out and the cold bed is depleting itself really fast. But that's where we are so i figured i would just go ahead and let you guys see this because it's starting to get a slightly better color uh, and uh i will come back uh, probably a few hours from now occasionally i'm going to spritz it with some butter just to kind of keep you guys informed and uh i'll probably come out here and uh, start spritzing it with a little water uh, mixed with maybe apple juice or yeah i'll probably leave it at apple juice today not white grape so Okay, and I'm stuffy from all the smoke, so <laughs> if you can't tell. All right, y'all. Thanks. We'll be back. Just for the sake of uh, saving some time on this video, I'm going to uh, probably hold off on any more updates until this thing is done, until I'm ready to pull it off. So uh, I'm assuming that will be another couple hours, three hours maybe. I'm going to shut this lid back down and uh, let some of the ambient temperature you know, cook the bird a little bit. So, All right. We'll see you guys in a minute. I'm sorry, just a quick second. Man, look at this. We're hours in. Thing's still dripping juice. <sighs> it's a labor, but labor love. I tell you that much. Because I'm going to love eating this bad boy once it's all said and done. Check out the leg. Starting to pull back a little bit. That lets me know that things are coming along really nice with the cook it should be done hopefully pretty soon here i don't know i'm not really going to probe it because a little uh thermometer is already in the bird so i'm just gonna let it do what it do until i see that thing pop out all right y'all uh yeah sorry you just had to get this color man it's really nice beautiful real beautiful even with the crazy smoke man it's turned out really beautiful all right we'll, we'll be back Alright guys, as you can see right there, the turkey timer popped up and this thing is good to go. At some point that breast hit 165, but when I came out here, the fire had all but smoldered. Uh, so I stuck the uh, thermometer in the back and the back was reading about 150 something and the top was reading 165. So I decided to go ahead and throw a couple more logs on, just for a couple seconds. Uh, as you can see, look at that. Juices are still oozing out of this thing. I'm going to wrap it up in some foil in a pan, stick the rack back up here, and just let the uh, let the fire kind of soak it all in just for a few minutes so I don't overdo this bad boy. And uh, we're going to be good to go. Look at the legs. Total pullback. Uh, I tasted a little piece. I was expecting the worst because of how bad the fire had been managed the whole time. Um, it, didn't, uh, it didn't taste like smoke. I was really expecting uh, for this turkey to be ruined. but. Uh, I'm very fortunate today. Uh, the barbecue, uh, the 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 great grills are smiling at me right now. So I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead, y'all. We'll be back when it's time to cut this thing. Well, I, yeah, we'll be back when it's time to cut it. All right. See, look at this. Look at the dust up. Look at it. It look like it's snowing. I have to come behind this and spritz it with water just so that the ash doesn't bake down into this. But we'll we'll be back. So here's the bird, y'all. I think since I'm going to be sharing this uh, with some people that uh, may want some for Thanksgiving, I'm thinking about spatchcocking it. But uh, this is the final product. Pro tip. I uh, stuck this thing back over an open fire 
uh, in the pan for a few minutes because uh, I wanted to get a little beyond 165. That's just how I like it. Um, 165 is FDA approved, so uh, and the bird will continue to cook a little bit uh, while it's resting. Uh, but you know that's just you know, where I am. Uh, here, let's, let's cut and talk. You see a little squirt of juice. Oh, I dirtied up the meat a little bit. This is beautiful. Still piping hot. You wanna try some? Not bad. Still really juicy. I was expecting the worst with this one, but it turned out to exceed a couple expectations. But there you have it. We're about to definitely take half of this because it, how you like it? Is it okay? A little spicy? Yeah, whatever. Have it spicy. Yeah, whatever. It's Cajun. But, yeah, y'all. I did it the hard way with the rotisserie, uh, but it was well worth it. I would order from you. You would order from me. Oh, I was having my baby. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm about to go enjoy this and uh, watch a little college football. Y'all have a good one.